For my garbage person of the week, we're gonna have to take a little bit of trip to the State House of Maine. Take a look at this. When 1619 passed and went into law on October 25th, you told God life doesn't matter. Keep in mind that the law came into effect on October 25th. God heard you and the horrible events on October 25th happened. Thank you. Chair recognizes the representative from Biddeford, Representative Mellon. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm pretty certain that implying that the passage of legislation caused a horrible and horrific evil tragedy is impugning the character of every member of this chamber, and I would request that he stand down. Now that last gentleman was representative Mark Malon, the guy slapping down the first tiny little goblin boy. <laughs> uh, he's not my garbage person, the first guy was for fairly obvious reasons. He stood in front of a camera with a whole bunch of people around and said that because they had passed a law that helped enshrine abortion rights, that God punished the state with a mass shooting. So God was so mad about a law that upheld the same sorts of rights that we've had access to in this country for a half century or longer. He brought up a mass shooting upon us. He killed people in response. I, that guy is not some random internet preacher, okay? That is Representative Michael Lemelin, a Republican, obviously, an elected official. Now, he's not my only garbage person, as you can see right there. I'm gonna give you a bonus, it's Representative Shelley Rudnicki. We'll get to her in just a sec, but Lemelin added that he wasn't just mad about the one they'd already passed, that he attributes a mass shooting to. He also added that there would be severe consequences if the House passed LD-227, a proposal to protect healthcare providers from being targeted by other states' restrictions on gender affirming and reproductive care. I don't know, maybe that would cause an earthquake or a uh, you know, a sinkhole or something. I don't know what this crazy person thinks. He also tied recent severe rain and snowstorms to God's opposition to the state's support for abortion rights. He also, it doesn't have anything to do with this, but he called COVID a hoax just to round out who he is as a person. But everything bad is because of abortion, okay? It's so it's such a convenient out for them. Um, but lawmakers from both sides of the aisle did denounce him. So not every Republican there is a garbage person in this story. But Representative Shelley Rudnicki, remember her? She rose to tell her colleagues that she agreed with him and everything he said. So she also, when the second bill passed, called it a very sad day for Maine. So he stood up and said, people died because we legalized abortion. He got attacked and she said, I wants me some of that and stood up to get some of those attacks too. Now, thankfully, they were both censured by the state house. And it was actually unanimous, other than them, obviously, that censured them. They had to give brief apologies on the house floor, and then they went right back to no other consequences. But to stand there and say after a tragedy like this, that it's because of abortion rights, that's not an abstract thing. People, like People lost family members, they lost friends, people lost their lives, and for these, how, how do they have power? Like, I'm gonna turn to you. I don't understand. Like, when I think about how difficult it would be for a good person to get elected even to a state house, it seems like an impossible barrier. You would have to have all the right connections and all the right funding and all the right experience. And yet, these, these creepy little ghouls get and hold political office while saying these reprehensible things. I don't understand it. What do you think? There's a lot of Venn diagrams involved with people who embrace and utilize religion and mysticism, essentially, like the mysticism type aspect of certain religions. Like the ones who can wield it can get the other people who believe in it to follow them. But it's crazy all the effort that they put into becoming a legislator. All the hard work, all the brilliance it's got to take, the whether however you define brilliance, just put like a 19th of that into learning why people commit mass shootings and and yeah. what that in, entails. Especially that would help you because it's part of your job as a legislator. Yeah. But for me, oh my God, part of me wishes I could live like this guy. Yeah, just, just be like, like oh. Green, just everything bad is because of this thing I don't like. It is, yeah, it is fantastic. It must be so freeing. 
But like, listen, I guarantee you, and I've seen it, and I made a Rebel HQ video about this. I think it's this week's, or maybe it's the previous week's, where like folks just look at, you know, if there is a, if this shooting was done by someone who was trans, well, it would be because that person is trans that it happened. Oh, now it's about the motivations politically of the shooter. When most yeah. shooters are right wingers, they're like, oh no, it's because abortion rights. Yeah. But on that That's day, insane. we'll excuse it. And it's, it's, you know, on that day, it's because of your political beliefs. Well, it's, it must be nice. It must be nice to live that way. I mean, it's yeah. horrible for the rest of us who like value reason and basic ability to discern causality. Yeah. But for this guy, it's, it's fantastic to it's, just blame it on yeah. passing a bill and abortion rights. So suddenly there's a mass shooting. Yeah. Imagine if like the, uh, the creator of all that ever was or ever will be was just there to get you out of having to think about things. Yonex said in the chat, a small petty man makes his God in his image. And that's 100% right. God is a reflection, your God is a reflection of who you are. And that's why their gods are so cruel, so small, so petty. Anyway, uh, 43,000 of you voted for the community garbage person of the week uh, this week. And coming in at number five, four percent of the vote, you have Morgan McMichael for crying over a gender neutral bathroom at an airport. The video we showed on the, on Monday. I think it was uh, coming in number four with nine percent of the vote. You have Maria Bartiromo for saying the jobs market is too good for Biden. Ridiculous. Coming in number three with nineteen percent of the vote. You have Lindsey Graham for lying about fifteen week fetuses feeling pain. Uh, the runner up with twenty eight percent of the vote is the MAGA woman for saying she prefers Putin to Biden. I don't think we ever actually even got around to showing that, did we? But people apparently still saw it because they voted in droves for it. But the winner with forty percent of the vote, your community guard choice of the week, is Carrie Lake for pretending she was always against the AZ abortion ban, even though she spoke in glowing terms about how great it was and how it should be a model for other states. I focused on that in the pre-port this morning, so go see that.